Hello. Today I'm going to be talking to you about what's in my bag for wedding photography. How do you feel about uh, slightly out of focus intros? Because that's what you got today. And I hope that you enjoyed it. It was my first time shooting 4K on this camera, and I screwed it up. Important announcement, though. Uh, this month, specifically, you might have noticed last month I pretty much went daily videos. Uh, this coming month, September, I'm actually going to be doing mostly daily videos on Patreon. So I'm, this is we're calling it Patreon September, and I'll be doing 14 videos on Patreon, and they are videos designed specifically to book you more weddings, the more the business side of wedding photography than the actual shooting side of wedding photography. So if you're interested in booking more weddings, even if you just join for one month and you pick up one single tip, uh, that could potentially book you like a $2,000 wedding or a $3,000 wedding or 20 $5,000 weddings over your career. So uh, join up for a month, hang out and enjoy the content. All my presets come with it, my pricing documents, uh, full pricing breakdown, actually a new pricing video based on the modifications that I did to my pricing just two weeks ago. So I'm doing a full video on that. That'll be one of the first ones out. So if you're interested in making your wedding photography business even better than it currently is and booking more weddings, uh, head over to Patreon and join up there and I'll see you uh, there. Or I'll see you back in, in this video. It's probably more correct. Before we get into the actual bag, I will give a shout out to Gatorade here. Um, always have Gatorade handy on those hot summer days or water. I guess water is fine too. Use lighter colors of Gatorade so if you spill it on your shirt, it doesn't stain you. This is a Lululemon dress shirt. Very breathable, very lightweight. And uh, my shoes, my shoes are, are dress shoes, but they're also running shoes. Got them at Softmock in Canada. I'm sure you can find these wherever you live in the world. Uh, they have increased my comfort when it comes to weddings tenfold. The other thing you're gonna have to do before you shoot a wedding is you're gonna have to download No Effects The Decline uh, to play regardless of if you have cell reception or not. It's a very important tip. Let's get into the bag. I feel like this is gonna be a little disappointing. So my backup of all of these backups is what I'm actually filming on, which is the Canon RP with a 35 millimeter lens. Right now there's 24 millimeter lens on it, but that's just for video purposes. On a regular day, a 35 will be on there. And then my main camera body is this uh, Nikon D850 uh, with a 85 millimeter 1.4G on it. And uh, it uses these XQD cards. I use 128 cards because I like to just have infinite space for the wedding day. And for my backup card, I use these SanDisk 256 gig cards. They have a 170 megabyte a second write time. I use the 256 cards because I can run a few weddings and leave that card in there. Um, whereas I'd be switching out the uh, 128 card, but I can leave that in there for a few weddings uh, to kind of give myself another backup, just an offsite backup. So if I have three weddings in a weekend, at least I have everything kind of running with me as I'm going out into the world uh, on that card and I don't have to format it. Uh, until I start to just deliver photos. This here is the Peak Design Everyday Messenger Bag. I absolutely love it, and you're going to be uh, thrilled to see that I don't really even utilize any of it. So in this front compartment here, I have my X-Pro Godox uh, controller so that I can control my off-camera flash. And uh, I also have a full set of batteries for this guy here. The Godox V1 uses a lithium-ion battery, the one that like goes through the hole like that. It lasts for a very long time. I would say it lasts for 10 weddings, the way that I use it. And then I also have this little little shoe. So if I need to put this up somewhere, I can just, a little tripod. Um, I also have some light stands in the back here, as well as a tripod, but I don't really use a tripod a whole lot unless we're doing video coverage. For modifiers, um, I'm also pretty lightweight. As you might notice, um, everything here is kind of lightweight. The only modifier that I have is a CTO gel. It's a little magnet one that clips onto here. Um, I don't use a green one. Um, if I find myself in fluorescent lighting conditions, it could use a green gel. Usually it's close enough to white that I just, uh, or daylight, that I just use the bare, the bare flash head. So that's all that's in there. Pretty underwhelming, right? 
Here I have my 7200 Nikon FL uh, 2.8. This is the lens that I use. You'll probably see it pretty much every ceremony that I shoot. I use this lens. That's about it. It's a fantastic lens. I like it because it renders everything, every focal length, kind of like a prime. Uh, it has nice contrast. It, uh, it, I'll, also, I'll also speak to the fact that Nikon, for the most part, they seem to design their lenses for art as well as sharpness and the technology required. Um, so I'm kind of a big fan of Nikon for that reason. And then on my other camera body, which is Nikon D750, um, with the Sony Tough Cards in it. Uh, I like the Sony Tough Cards because one, they're super fast. Two, uh, I'm probably not gonna have that card fail. Uh, I feel fine with the XQD and the other camera, but as a main card, I would like to have something a little bit more tougher. And uh, I also feel like it kind of helps the buffer time as well. So if I'm shooting photo video, um, it gives me the ability to switch a little bit faster. The buffer cap is pretty much the problem in here, but um, the card speed, it does help. And then I have a second card in here too, which is very exciting. That's a Lexar. That company doesn't even really exist anymore as a card manufacturer. And then uh, on here, I have the 35 1.4G, which I also love. If I'm shooting a wedding alone, today I'm shooting a wedding with a second photographer that will have a wide angle lens. If I'm shooting a wedding alone, usually I'll bring the 24G uh, 1.4 rather than the 35, but I prefer the 35 if I can get away with it. But I always wanna be prepared just in case they're like, hey, by the way, we're doing a group shot of all 300 guests at the wedding and it has to be inside this space that if I have a 24 or if Tim brings his 15 to 30, um, I can use that. Otherwise I'll bring my 24. Worst case, I can, I can stitch a little pano. It's no big deal. And that's it. That's all. Like four items, two camera bodies, two lenses, a controller and a flash. And then I have a backup flash back here as well as this backup camera that's right here. And that's all. Pretty underwhelming, I hope. I will say though that this uh, Peak Design Everyday Messenger is one of the best bags that I've ever used. I didn't even need the 15 inch version of it that comes in a 13 that is a little smaller. And I wish I would've got that because this is just a little bit too big. It also fits a full 15 inch laptop that I don't have because all I have is my 11 inch MacBook Air. Um, but really, really fantastic bag. And the thing that I love the most about Peak Design items, uh, you'll actually maybe see this in a future video when I use the travel sling that I also absolutely love, um, that regardless of how old the items are, if you've ever seen a Peak Design strap, even if somebody bought one like five years ago, it looks like it's brand new. So um, this stuff doesn't really ever look like it's been used. It just looks new forever. So uh, shout out to them for that. So yeah, that's all. The most important part again, is to make sure that you have the decline by no effects downloaded so you can play it all day. It's a very long song. So in between getting ready locations, you can listen to it, continue for your drive home at the end of the night and uh, just get amped up. I don't know who makes this strap. I found this strap in the camera store. It's not important. Also bring sunscreen. I have sunscreen somewhere. It's in my front door up here. Sunscreen is nice. Bug spray is even better. Uh, if you have a bug spray in the back of your camera bag, you will be the hero whenever you try to bring a couple or a wedding party out into the wilderness and everybody's complaining about the mosquitoes and you can be the one that's just like, all right, we got you covered and they will love you forever. That's all for today. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I'm Taylor Jackson. See you next time. Gear lost, gear lost. Gear lost, gear lost. I've got glass, but it's not in the cupboard. Full kit, every focal length is covered. New lens.